My name is Nick Friedland. I am the operations lead for the Berkeley Blockchain Accelerator. And I wanted to welcome, welcome you to the 2023 Berkeley Blockchain Accelerator Demo Day. Great, so a little bit about the BBX. Uh, we have been around since 2019. We've been providing education and other resources to students from various universities as well as entrepreneurs from around the world. Since 2019, we've actually hit a benchmark of 100 teams that have come through our cohort. Um, you'll be hearing from Blockchain at Berkeley uh, at the end of the presentations. And then, of course, our mentors and sponsors uh, who have been helping to educate our teams and have kept this program funded for the last five years. And then also I want to make one special thank you to the fellows and the fellow leads who have been an integral part of this program. I see some of them in the back. They'll be coming on to speak at the end of the event. And uh, they have been... Uh, hands-on with the teams. We've had fellows paired. They're basically uh, been sourcing them from blockchain at Berkeley, and we've had fellows paired with every team since the start of the program. They've been instrumental in helping us run this program. And last but not least, I'd like to introduce cohort six. Uh, from this cohort, we have nine teams are going to be presenting in person today. Each team will be presenting for about three minutes. And uh, we also, I have a link here for, the, uh, for our website for the portfolio. The teams who weren't able to make it in person, they've recorded videos, and those videos will be available online. Uh, yeah, and without further ado, I'd like to bring on Cube3. All right, thank you very much. Super excited to be here. Uh, wonderful people. My name is Ainos Gravok. I'm a co-founder CEO at Cube Free, here to talk about security. So I promise to make this painless. Um, first, the problem. As many of you heard, a lot of money is being spent on security, but something is still missing. Still have a gap, and until companies such as ours, and hopefully many others, fill this gap, uh, Web Free can't really fully take off. Um, so first, let me tell you why I think the gap is still there, why there are still problems and products to be created. Number one, you all know when you deploy a smart contract, if you're moving value around if you, or if getting hacked would be a bad day for you, you'll begin by auditing it, which is effectively manually looking for potential vulnerabilities in your contract. Super important, but not enough, because ultimately you're looking for known vulnerabilities and you're as good as your order is, as good as a human being is, right? So you need more than that. You need to build on top of that. Uh, you all have uh, seen many companies that do monitoring, basically intrusion detection systems. Those are also important, but uh, for the most part, by definition, they tell you that you got hacked after you got hacked. And at that point in time, it becomes about mitigation and remediation. So while those things do play an important role, that's not enough. Uh, today, we're introducing another way, the next logical step in security for Web3, which we call transaction security. Uh, simply put, imagine if your smart contract was smart enough to inject threat intelligence, to evaluate every single uh, transaction, every single wallet and smart contract trying to do business with it, and evaluate for security before that contract is exploited. That's what we do as a company. Number one, we built an IDS to evaluate every contract, identify attackers before they go on, on exploiting, risk scoring those attacks, such as the Euler hack, such as the Curve hack, many, many others. 
We do that, of course, using ML models by evaluating every single thing that is deployed on chain the moment it's deployed on chain. So be it a contract, a wallet, a transaction, et cetera, et cetera. Now, once you know who the bad guys are, what do you do about that? We built a fairly unique runtime security product that allows smart contracts, after they've evaluated the risk, to decline that individual transaction without pausing the contract. So what happens is your contract suddenly has the super skills to assess the risk, decline the risk, carry on processing the good transactions without interrupting your normal course of business. We think this is the next logical step towards Web3 security, especially if you're building and deploying smart contracts. Our clients seem to agree. There's some select uh, companies that we work with, uh, and they agree that we uh, you know, feel a fairly important need. Uh, we're backed by some of the best investors out there, including Patrick Chang at Dispersion Capital, can see that uh, blockchain and many others. Um, we've done this before. Uh, we've built and sold two cybersecurity companies, one to Comcast, one to Oracle. Um, so we'd like to think that we have the necessary experience to add value to a very, very uh, smart and rapidly growing cybersecurity industry in Web3. Um, and finally, uh, I urge you to go to Q3AI, try the products yourself, sign up is for free, uh, give it a go, and uh, my contacts are there below as well. Love to chat with you here or afterwards on Telegram. Thank you very much. Hi there, how's it going? My name is Graham Fox, I'm the co-founder and CEO of Societal, uh, and today I'll be talking to you about our project Societal, which is a home base for internet native communities. So even though Web3 uh, community tooling has been around for quite a few years, it still faces a number of challenges that prevent it from mass adoption. The first is the current gas fee model, which creates a barrier to entry for Web2 communities moving to Web3 tech. Second, the current blockchain infrastructure requires multiple deployments of applications on different chains to get to market. You know, this leaves team resources fragmented and leaving their operations fragmented as well. Third, with the dispersion of all these applications on different chains, it leads to a poor user experience as there's no home base for this community tooling to live and reside. Well, let me introduce you to the solution, Societal, a ZK rollup designed to run the entire operation stack for internet native communities, where we're gonna build the application layer and the infrastructure layer. It will be the easiest platform to onboard Web2 communities into Web3. We'll do this through a subscription-based model via account abstraction so that every community member can interact on-chain without paying gas fees. Second, Societal is a ZK rollup app chain which means that we only have one code base to manage and deploy, and we'll use cross-chain communication to integrate into other chains. And third, we'll use our infrastructure layer to offer a community tooling app store for third-party community tooling to deploy on, integrate with our UI, and offer their services to the community on our network, providing that one home base for all community tooling product in Web3. Looking at the current market opportunity, did you know that 76% of internet users participate and engage with online communities? And currently, Web3 communities have $24 billion of assets under management. Just imagine how large that will be when we onboard the next set of communities into Web3. Looking at our competitors, they range from Métis all the way to Link3, but none of these products have the platform or tech stack required to run communities' operations and reputation systems, uh, to have an infrastructure layer for applications to deploy on, or have an easy onboarding of Web2 communities into Web3. Looking at our roadmap, Societal currently has our testnet deployed and running with 20 design partners on it. We're launching our public incentivized testnet in Q4 this year with our mainnet rolling out in Q2 of next year. Now the Societal team has a diverse background experience in building and scaling startups for years with a focus in product, engineering, and business operations. 
We also have 10 advisors that round out our team from governance, legal, and technical, and this will be the team that onboards the next set of communities into Web3. We are currently raising a $3 million seed round, so if you're interested in investing, please come and see me after. And if I can leave you with one thing, if we want to onboard the next billion people into crypto, it won't be through trading DeFi applications, it won't be through privacy apps, but it will be through community and it will be on societal. Thank you. Hello. I'm Daniel from 42. Um, I move, not really. Sweet. Is everyone awake? I only have three minutes. Okay, 42. So we are Zapper for the IBC. Um, essentially, we're trying to make DeFi as simple as possible for everyone. We've spoken with a ton of Cosmos users, a ton of Ethereum users, and they all have the same problems with the interchain ecosystem. Cosmos users have trouble tracking their portfolios, they have trouble searching for yields, and they're losing their tokens along the way, and Ethereum users don't know where to start in the interchain ecosystem. Um, and we're making this super easy for everyone. So um, interchain yields, interchain swaps, and more. We've just launched our alpha product this week. Um, so we've got some alpha users on, they love what we're doing. Essentially, connect your wallet, you can see your assets sitting across chains, you can see your assets in the wallets, in the validators, liquidity pools, and you can find yields across the interchain super easily. So across different types of strategies, across we've already deployed across five different chains, and uh, essentially the, the goal is to find yields across any chain as quickly as possible. Maybe in the future this is with real world assets, it most likely will be, um, but for now we're really trying to get 100 interchain users to love what we're doing. Um, it's all with auto compounding. We've also got amazing partnerships within Cosmos and the IBC that allow one click anything. So this is for swaps, uh, select a token, select a chain, etc. And we show you the best routes across any IBC chain, how to swap. Um, we've done some research. So essentially on Ethereum, 12% of total TVL sits in yield optimizers, where in Cosmos only 1% currently sits in yield optimizers. And that's because no yield optimizers exist. And uh, DEX aggregation, 13% of total swaps on Ethereum go through DEX aggregators and only 0.6% within Cosmos. These are some of our competitors, which you can look at later. We've got a bunch of really good revenue streams that actually make sense. Um, I am the founder. I was at Binance Labs, Menlo Ventures, and I studied at Berkeley. Uh, I've got a banking background. We've got an amazing engineering team. And we are currently raising a million at a 10 million valuation. We've got really good angels in the round. We just closed off a really good angel round. And we're almost fully committed at the million. It's just a small round to continue operations. Um, and yeah, launch our alpha. So come chat to us. We'll be over there on the left, my left. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Baron Castor, and I am the co-founder and CEO of Demox Labs, where we are building zero-knowledge privacy products. So what does that mean? Uh, first off, please raise your hand if you have used Venmo in the past month. Keep your hand raised if you made every payment publicly. Wow, all right, so we do have a few. But most people keep payments on pri uh, privately because privacy is really important for payments. Uh, similarly, all of our people who are using Venmo uh, are trusting Venmo. So please raise your hand if you have been blocked from a Venmo payment in the past. All right, there we go, more than I was expecting. That's because we're trusting these middlemen to make payments. So problems with peer-to-peer -peer payments today are that Using crypto rails, it's incredibly public. And going through traditional venues has gatekeepers that we rely on. So there's a new technology called zero-knowledge proofs 
that allow you to prove something is true without revealing the underlying information. And we're using this new cryptography to protect user privacy and peer-to-peer -peer payments. So far, our, our major product is the Leo wallet, which is not in this slide deck. There we go. Uh, which is not just a light skinned wallet on top of existing chains, but it actually has a lot of really interesting infrastructure under the hood to make sure that all of your user information stays locally on your machine and is not pushed on chain for anyone to view. This is really important for holding any assets. And we know because we built a lot of assets that utilize this technology, such as NFTs and the NFT standard, which allowed people to privately authenticate that they own assets without ever sharing that information with others. So far in our journey, we've raised four and a half million dollars from some incredible investors, and we have a really strong and lean team. Uh, we, so far, we built the, the number one wallet on ZK privacy chains, starting with Alio, and we're expanding to others. Uh, we continue to build out more on the ZK infrastructure side of things to really make private payments a part of all of our futures. This is the team today uh, and UCR, ZK NFTs, um, but we have, we're very strong on the engineering front and we don't have any Berkeley alum with us yet. That's something we're hoping to change in the future. So thank you so much, and if you want to make private payments part of the future and help build with us, please follow along. Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to introduce you to Corner Market, the future of local business commerce. This is Marco. Marco saved years of his hard earned money to open up shop. But unfortunately, like many small businesses, Marco has to close up shop. Let me repeat that for you. Did you know that 50% of all new small businesses fail within their first three years of opening? We did the numbers. We identified three primary reasons why these small businesses often fail. One, lack of funds for marketing and ways for their loyalty programs. Creative ways to not only entice and excite customers, but also, also to retain them. Number two, access to affordable capital. Traditionally, when small business owners apply for loans, they get denied. They don't have the credit. They don't have the history. And three, Small business owners are getting charged 2.6 to as high as 3.7 per transaction. I don't know about you, but personally, for me, I think it's time for a change. Hi, my name is Denarius. I'm the CMO over here at Corner Market. We're an all-in-one Web3 marketplace where we empower small businesses by providing them free marketing and loyalty programs to entice and excite those customers to not only know about their business, but to return to them. Two. Community lending. No longer do small businesses have to get denied by going to the bank. They can simply offer their deals and their products on the Corner Market app. Shoppers can purchase their deals through a digital gift card voucher. Now that business has the capital up front to not only scale by hiring staff, but also equipment to offer cust optimal customer service experience. And three, Corner Market has a sliding scale where we're able to charge business owners from zero to 2% but we're able to charge as low as 0%, now eliminating those transaction fees that once hindered the progression of a small business. Now I know what you're wondering, how does it work? It's very simple. As a shopper, you simply download the Corner Market app. GPS will show you businesses in your local area that take crypto as a form of payment. Step two, you simply decide what you wanna purchase. Choose from your favorite cryptos, whether that's Pepe, Shiba Inu, or even XRP. 
simply go to that business. When you go to that business, you redeem the voucher. Funds go directly to that merchant. At point of sale, those tokens, those cryptos that you chose at step two, automatically get converted into a stable coin. We're built on the BNB and Polygon blockchain. And since inception, we've been getting recognized, we've been getting noticed. We're honored to be graduated from the Berkeley and XRP blockchain accelerators. We've amassed over a thousand test users, and we recently just won first place prize at the Polygon DevX Global Tour Hackathon. Now we know we're the team to get to bring real life crypto adoption to a reality. We've all successfully been a part of previous startups, from startup to acquisition. Today we're raising a today we're raising a seed round of a million dollars. The funds will be allocated to fuel our initial growth, helping us scale to 2,000 merchants, 50,000 users worldwide, bringing in $2 million of monthly transaction value, and helping us launch in five additional countries, not including the three countries that we are currently already live in. Now, we all know three minutes is not enough time to really dive into what we currently do over here at Corner Market. So take out your phones, scan the QR code, and schedule a meeting with us where you can join us and supporting small businesses and families just like Marco, where we take their business from the corner to the market. Thank you. Okay, lovely. So myself, is this working? I don't know. Okay. Right gotcha, hello. Working? All right. So myself and the rest of my team, we're still in college. We're a little bit risky. And half an hour today, uh, half an hour ago, we released a completely new feature that we're gonna share with you at the end of this demo. But first, who are we? So we're Cryptic and we're building the Web3 super app. Our team is a four person team from Berkeley and Carnegie Mellon. We are CS students and design students. And together we realize that Web3 has a complexity problem. So many teams, many companies focus on very small niches, very small problems. So if you wanna do something as basic as swapping two tokens, you have to navigate a gauntlet of steps. And this creates a very fragmented user experience because no one has had the conviction or the courage to create a unified, seamless experience. And that's what we're doing. So in a perfect world, you wouldn't have to download a new wallet for every blockchain. You wouldn't need a separate app for finance or social. You would only need one thing for all of these things. And that thing, that app would be the cryptic super app. So you can access this wallet on any device, anytime, anywhere. And we do this using a, um, a feature that we built with some grants. It's what you see on screen right here. It's called Cryptic Sync. All you have to do is scan a few, a few QR codes and you can sync your wallet from your laptop, or your phone. If you're first creating an account, all it takes is five seconds. You can use email, you can use biometrics. Traction. $75,000 in grants, including supporting Cryptic Sync, $50,000 in stored assets, and 100 plus active users. And we're trying to build something that you never need to leave. So we are in the business of fulfillment. If you have an intention, your intention may, may be to connect with a friend, to make a payment, to swap tokens, you should be able to, and you are able to, do all of those actions from a single place, from a single interface, the Cryptic Web Wallet. Competitive advantages. This is a big vision. This is a very incredibly difficult task, right? It's a super app. It's trying to aggregate everything in Web3 in one place. So we don't want to rely on the Google or App Store release times. We need to move fast. We need to be quick. And we need to release what we want when we want. And we can do that. Like I said, we just released a new feature half an hour ago. Multi-chain support. We support over 10 different blockchains. We're open source. 
every single line of 70,000 lines of code is open source. And we have integrated apps, including some of the biggest in the space, including Uniswap, 0x, Magic Eden, et cetera. And this is where you come into play. If you want to join Cryptic, if you want to test out our feature that we just released half an hour ago, scan this QR code. It's a payment link. All you have to do is click a simple button, and you'll have $5 of base, which we integrated just yesterday. We are Apicene, the future of luxury fashion. Despite being a $350 billion industry, luxury fashion is plagued by counterfeiting. U.S. Customs seized $3 billion worth of counterfeit goods last year alone, and many more have slipped through undetected. With customers investing more in luxury fashion than ever before, and the secondhand luxury fashion resale market seeing massive growth of 33% year over year, Authentication has never been more important. The industry needs a trustless authentication solution. Current industry solutions are inefficient and fall short. They often rely on human labor and expertise such as appraisers. They're patchwork and address the problem in bits and pieces. They're not publicly accessible. This means that consumers cannot authenticate their own purchases and must rely on the paid services of the aforementioned experts. The hardware is insecure and can be cloned, which allows for forgeries, and they often rely on centralized servers. This means if a server goes offline, it renders all authentication chips utterly useless. We offer one Web3-powered, trustless authentication solution that allows customers to authenticate their assets with one tap of their smartphone, no app download required. Here's an overview of how our protocol works. First, proof of origin and vital data is stored across a decentralized file storage network. This data is then encrypted on an asymmetrically encrypted NFC chip. This chip is then embedded in the garment, and now anyone with a smartphone can verify a product's authenticity with one tap. Since we were founded in January of 2022, we've signed contracts with 240 international designers and growing. We've built a highly engaged community of both luxury customers and designers with 178,000 followers on Instagram alone, and we've done 453,000 in gross revenue. Our team is uniquely positioned to solve this problem due to our rich backgrounds in both luxury goods and innovative tech products. Our CTO already has a track record of building multi-billion dollar products, such as MetaMask swaps, which you may be familiar with. We're excited to carry this spirit of innovation forward, and we're currently raising our pre-seed round. If you'd like to connect with us, please scan the QR code above or look for me after the talks. I'm pretty recognizable. Hello, my name is Mikhail, and I'm the founder of Hito. Hito is a crypto wallet for the future of money. Uh, with uh, traditional finances, we have a beautiful, not beautiful, nice and okay front end, so uh, average user can use banking, you know, but uh, for the crypto, the situation is opposite. We have beautiful back end, built by geeks, but we have a shitty front end with crypto. It's not easy to use for average users. Maybe because it was built by geeks for geeks only. And also, it's not easy to make your crypto secure if you're an average user. That's why I think four billion US dollars last year was, was stolen. That's 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 why we built Hito. Hito is um, a hardware crypto wallet, which is a tangible device which makes your crypto secure and a companion app which allow you to control your assets. So we built uh, the hardware, the prototype, we built uh, firmware, 
backend, uh, mobile apps. And so we launched the pre-sale campaign. It was successful and we shipped 300 units to first customers. And they are tearing us down, basically, uh, asking for new features almost every day. But uh, Hito, it's not only about hardware. Uh, for example, Visa has uh, 70 trillion US dollars turnover per, per year. And so they make 40 billion US dollars on transaction fees. So we want to build um, the future of money around this beautiful hardware wallet. So we want to make money on uh, transaction fees, uh, on exchange. Uh, that's our plan. And uh, our team uh, has a rare combination of skills, uh, hardware and software. For example, me, myself, I'm a technical founder and I spent three decades building different software and advising hardware startups. So we are raising three million US dollars to scale production and to build value-added services around our beautiful hardware wallet. Let's build the future of money together. And if you are a developer, join us as well. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. I'm co-founder of Blockless. Welcome, everyone, to the new modular with Blockless. So Blockless is the infrastructure platform to launch, integrate, and secure network-neutral applications. I know what you're thinking. What does network-neutral mean? So stay with me. I'll explain later. But let's talk about, let's talk about the problem first. You know, blockchain excels at global bookkeeping, but it's limited when it comes to general computing. So consequently, applications are limited by the layer one, layer two blockchain networks they live on, capping the potential to scale and new use cases to grow. Here comes the solution. The modular application architecture with Blockless allow decentralized applications to operate outside the constraints of layer one and layer two blockchains and make their own decisions about the workload and consensus. So network neutral means that applications don't have to sacrifice performance and usability to fit within the capabilities of layer one, layer two blockchains they live on. There are two core technologies involved in our solution. First, randomized node orchestration. It's a very important networking mechanism that allows decentralized applications to randomize a selection of the most suited nodes to perform the workload. This ensures optimal security against such as Sybil attack, even more robust than a layer one. Second, dynamic consensus and verification allows developers to choose from PBFT, Raft, ZK Snark, and more in just one click and assemble them for various modules of the application. And well, all well natively integrate with any layer one and layer two blockchains. So with, the, with this solution, we offer two um, product offerings. First is the B2B custom build solution that allows our client projects to leverage our technology to launch their specialized networks for their applications. Um, we also have the B2C offering the fully managed solution um, provided by our self-servicing platform for indie developers and smaller projects to launch instantly on the Blockless decentralized network, their features and workloads. So I also want to share a little bit about what our clients are building. For example, humans.ai uses Blockless to launch a decentralized AI platform. Uh, they set up their decentralized network to run large language models and AI libraries to ensure also the open source model providers are being fairly compensated. We also work with Eigenlayer, 
to enable actively validated services on their platform to run within the blockless secure runtime, um, leveraging, say, um, task orchestration, dynamic consensus, to make sure that permissionless innovation is safeguarded by the security and stability of the network. Uh, we launched the um, platform uh, for open access two months ago, and these are some initial tractions, all achieved through organic growth uh, with zero marketing customer acquisition cost spend. Well, there's an amazing team behind Blockless. Um, these are the engineers. I guess we don't have time for that, but come find us. If you want to run a node for our decentralized network or build something or anything um, that requires trustless computation but is too heavy to run on chain, come find us. Tell us more about what you're building. Thank you. Hey everyone, uh, nice to see everyone here. Um, so my name is Shaban, I'm a senior uh, at UC Berkeley, uh, who's gonna be graduating soon. I've been with the program as the co-head on the student side of things with the Berkeley Blockchain Accelerator for about a year and a half at this point. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Gernor. Uh, Shaban and I served as the co-leads for the Accelerator this past cohort. You guys might remember us from the last demo day. Um, and I think now that both of us are moving forward from the program, uh, we'd like to use this opportunity in the stage uh, to present everyone uh, with the new co-leads for the Berkeley Blockchain Accelerator. So if you guys could give a round of applause to Keshav and Bell. Yeah, first of all, thank you so much to all the teams and their hard work throughout the Accelerator program, and thank you everyone for being here. My name is Bell, and I am currently the co-lead for uh, the Blockchain Accelerator program, and I was also, and I am still a part of the Blockchain at Berkeley Club here at Berkeley. Hello, everyone. Thank you, Gurnura and Shaban, for leading this amazing cohort. Uh, my name is Keshav. Um, I'm co-leading the uh, Berkeley Blockchain Accelerator with Bell this year. Um, I want to take this moment to give a particular shout out to our fellows from Blockchain at Berkeley who helped make this cohort a smashing success. Um, for context, Blockchain at Berkeley is an on-campus organization that drives blockchain innovation by empowering students to make an impact through practical education, consult um, enterprises, and conduct open source research. The organization will also be conducting its very first hackathon this year, later in November, to foster more blockchain development among students. So once again, thank you so much, everyone, for being here. Uh, all the Blockchain at Berkeley and also uh, Blockchain Accelerator representatives will be available for any intros or questions uh, on your right at these tables right here. So feel free to go and uh, chat with them. Yeah, thank you so much, everyone. <laughs>